I think it is by far the longest exercise. We're going to continue with coordinate geometry. Uh, again, I'm going to be continuing with, uh, you know, uh, all the sums related to distance formula itself. There are a lot of sums actually related to distance formula and we cannot leave out any. So I'm going to continue with that. Okay. So start with example six without much ado. Okay. So A minus three comma minus 4 b minus 5 comma 0 c 3 comma 0 are the vertices of a triangle so we know they are vertices of a triangle they are saying find the coordinates of the circumcenter of triangle abc now in this case we know circumcenter means it has to do with circumcircle so suppose a b and c are the points of a triangle okay just drawing the rough figure so this is called as a circumcircle, okay? A, B and C. Circumcenter means a point which is equidistant from all the points A, B, uh, a, B and C from the three point. So suppose let P be A comma B or you can say X comma Y, whatever you'll feel. So P has to be equidistant, okay? That's how we get a circumcircle and that's how circumcenter. Okay, so... Uh, this we will be doing by simultaneous equations. Okay, we'll be solving, finding the value of A and B. We'll see how. Okay. Uh, so, please refer to linear equations chapter solved by a sir. Okay. So, let's start with this chapter. Hmm. Sorry, let's continue with this chapter. So, uh, let P. So, we'll start at least with the sum. Let P. A comma B be the point be, uh, be the circumcenter B the circum center of triangle A B C of triangle A B C. Now we know that if it is the circum center, as I told you, P A is equals to P B is equals to P C okay okay by definition okay by the definition of circumcenter now as i told you all always when we compare distances we have to square it okay so square all now only in key pa square is equals to pb square is equals to pc square but we cannot compare all at once so we're going to compare two two at a time we'll name this as one but we'll take p pb first and then pc the next okay by distance formula, we will apply distance formula for both. So, just showing you how it is done. So, therefore, consider, okay, consider PA square is equals to PB square. Okay, PA square is equals to PB square. Now, uh, x2 minus x1, y2 minus y1. Okay, p points are a comma b, and a points are what is a given to us? Minus 3 comma minus 4. Write it down here so it will be easier for you. Okay, so uh, p a x1 x2. Uh, eh, sorry, x1 y1, x2 y2. Okay, so uh, formula is x2 minus x1 plus y2 minus y1 the whole square but this is already the square so we just have to put the formula so in this we have 3 uh, so a minus of minus 3 the whole square plus b minus of minus 4 the whole square so here a plus 3 the whole square plus okay Here, b minus or minus four is plus four. The whole square is equals to. Similarly, we have what are the coordinates for b? Minus five and zero. So x two minus x one. So here x two we'll take it as here a and b. So this mean we'll take this we'll take x two. This we'll take x one. So for in case of p b, uh, it will be uh. A minus A minus of minus 5 the whole square that is A 
plus 5 the whole square plus b minus 0 the whole square b minus 0 the whole square now you have to open this bracket by a square minus b square okay so a square plus 2ab that is 6a plus b square is 9 plus b square plus 8b plus 16 is equal to okay apply this also over here a square plus 10a plus uh, 25 plus only b square okay now wherever we have a square b square they will get cancelled as i told you all in the previous one so coefficient same sign same but on the opposite side they'll get cancelled okay now let's take all the a's and the b together 6a minus 10a plus 9 plus 8b oh, we don't have any b minus 25 plus 16 is equals to 0 so we get so for this we'll get minus 4a plus 8b minus plus minus 9 we get the so plus 9 minus 9 is 0 is equals to 0 this can be divided by 4 only therefore 4 ones are 4 so minus a plus 2b is equals to 0 that is your equation 2 okay so we will be having to solve it simultaneously as of now we'll keep it as it is now we'll move on to doing the further thing now we compare p a square p b square we'll take p b square and p c square so p b square is equals to p c square so we already know p and now c here c ka coordinates it's 3 comma 0 it's easy it's not very difficult the numbers also given very easily and nicely therefore now uh, p b okay so p is a comma b and b is minus 5 comma 0 so okay let's take so we say p a to p b and p a to p c we have to take the common one okay that is you can take the other two also but let's be on the safer side so compare one to both this to this this to this okay so now in this case p uh, p a to a minus of minus 3 x2 minus x1 x2 minus x1 that is x2 minus x1 the whole square plus y2 minus y1 that is b minus of minus 4 the whole square see here i'm doing the here i'm doing everything here i put directly okay similarly for c x2 minus x1 the whole square that is a minus 3 the whole square plus y2 minus 1 and that is b minus 0 the whole square. Okay. Let's take a little bit on the side. Therefore, this is nothing but a plus 3 the whole square plus b plus 4 the whole square is equals to a minus 3 the whole square plus b square. Hmm? a square plus 2 uh 6a plus 9 plus b square plus 8b plus 16 is equals to a square minus 6a plus 9 plus b square okay so this is opening the brackets nothing but a plus b the whole square and a minus b the whole square the opening okay of the brackets if you have any doubt please put it in the comment section i will do the basics for you but the demand has to be there then only will it be done for y'all okay so therefore now here as i told you it get cancelled 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 okay so let's see what is remaining we take 6a down plus 6a comes here plus 9 okay minus 9 comes here plus 8b we don't have anything to be plus for b plus 16 is equals to 0 let's see what we get therefore you get 12a plus 9 minus 9 minus 9 plus 8b is equal to 16 either let's take it there minus 16 therefore 
Now all of this goes in four times table. So three is a, two is a, four is a. This is your third. Now you have to solve it simultaneously to get your values of A and B. Now here A and B, the values have been got directly, but we will solve it simultaneously. How do we solve it simultaneously? I will solve it simultaneously for you all. You can either do it by Kramer's rule that you have learned in linear equations or you can do it simultaneously. So I will do it simultaneously. I will multiply equation 2 by 3. So it will be minus 3a plus 6b is equals to 0. This is your equation. This becomes your equation 4. Now look at these two. Okay. Okay, solve them simultaneously. I'll say add equation 3 and 4. 3a plus 2b is equals to minus 4 plus minus 3a plus 6b is equals to 0. These two get cancelled. 2 and 6 is 8b is equals to minus 4 only therefore b is equals to minus 4 upon 8 4 ones are 4 twos are therefore your b is equals to minus 1 by 2 now we have to substitute for a so in order to substitute for a we will be substitute b is equals to minus 1 by 2 in you can substitute in an equation in equation let's take this one 3 3 a plus 2 b is equal to minus 4 in equation 3 that is 3 a plus 2 b is equal to minus 4 therefore let's take it 3 a plus 2 what is the value of b minus 1 upon 2 is equal to minus 4. Now, the minus sign is an id card. It is not an operation that is being taken place. So, we can cancel 2 ones are 2 ones are. Therefore, 3a plus minus 1 is equal to minus 4. Okay. So, we will just do it over here. 3a my plus minus minus is equal to minus 4. I am doing all the steps so that it is easier for you all to understand. 3 is equal to minus 4 plus 1 be minus 1 becomes plus 1. Therefore, 3a is equal to plus minus minus sign of the greater number. Therefore, a is equal to minus 3 upon 3. Multiplication becomes division. Therefore, a is equal to 3 ones are 3 ones are minus 1. So, therefore, the therefore, p a comma b is nothing but p minus 1 comma minus 1 by 2. So that's your answer. That's how it is done in case of this particular sum. Now there are similar sums that you are going to try for this particular one. That is the problem set 5 sum number 7. Now I am continuing with example 8. Okay, on page number 107. Example 8 on page 107. Find the value of y if distance between a and b is 5. Okay. So, this they are saying that. Okay. They are saying that given very important and nice sum. This is, um, this is example 8. A similar sum is there that I will tell you all which one. Okay. Example 8. A is given as 2 comma minus 2. B is given as minus 1 comma y. Okay. Now it is y. They have not given us the value. And they are saying distance A comma B is equals to 5 units. Find. Ki bhai, ye jo B ka y coordinate hai, wo hai kya? Okay. Find y is equals to how much. Therefore, very easy. Solution. Uh, distance a comma b is equals to under root x2 minus x1 the whole square plus 
y2 minus y1 the whole square. Therefore, distance AB is already given as 5. Substitute for the rest x2 minus x1, x2 minus x1, minus 1 minus 2 the whole square plus now uh, then we have y2 minus y1 the whole square that is y minus of minus 2 y minus of minus 2 the whole square okay now we need to remove the square therefore we square both the sides squaring because we need to calculate both sides say by distance formula try leaving a line i just don't have a lot of space that's why i'm not leaving so this becomes 25 and this comes out now minus 1 minus 2 the whole square keep it as it is only y minus of minus 2 the whole square now solve 25 is equals to minus 3 the whole square plus y plus 2 the whole square therefore solve now 25 is equals to 9 plus a square a square or uh, keep this y plus 2 the whole square as it is okay let's see now how, what we'll do okay now that we are doing it 25 minus 9 is equals to y plus 2 the whole square this is nothing but 16 is equals to y plus 2 the whole square instead of taking y square and all that let's do it like this now square is there and this is also square can we take square root square root of 16 is equals to okay y plus 2 okay taking the square root for this also when you take square root on both the sides plus or minus comes for the number <coughs> therefore under root 16 is plus or minus 4 is the answer therefore y plus 2 is equals to plus or minus 4 so for both cases y plus 2 is equals to 4 or y plus 2 is equals to minus 4 therefore y is equals to 4 minus 2 is 2 or y is equals to minus 1 minus 6 so y can be either 2 or minus 6 now similar sum will be some number 7 that you all can do it on your own okay 5.1 sum number 7 now we are left with two more sums from this exercise that is practice set 5.1 the fourth sum so i will be doing the fourth sum so i'll do the fourth sum now okay verify that the points p q r are the vertices of a right angle triangle uh, so, the property of the right angle triangle as we know, Pythagoras theorem, if you apply, if you apply Pythagoras theorem, you know, that hypotenuse square is equal to sum of the square of the other two sides. So, fourth sum. Let's see. Okay. So, we have P, Q and R. P is nothing but minus 2 comma 2. Okay, Q is 2 comma 2 and R is 2 comma 7. So, P, Q, R, it is a right angle triangle. We have to prove that vertices of the triangle. So, you have to say for P comma Q and R to be the vertices of a right angle triangle what should be the condition pr square is equals to pq square plus qr square so pr square will should be equal to pq square plus qr square so we have to prove that so first we will do therefore consider pr square okay that is equals to under root so, under root goes away now in this case, okay? But we'll keep it like that. x2 minus x1 the whole square plus y2 minus y1 the whole square. Now, p is minus 2 comma 2 x1 y1 and r is 2 comma 7 
that is x2 y2 okay let's solve the sum okay by definition the square root is going to go just remember that directly we will only have x2 minus x1 the whole square plus y2 minus y1 the whole square to solve hmm? so it is 2 minus or minus 2 that is 4 the whole square correct 2 minus 2 the whole square 4 the whole square plus 7 minus 2 that is 5 the whole square 4 the whole square is 16 plus 25 and therefore, PR square is nothing but, I think, 16 plus 25, we add 1 here, 1 carry. Then how much does this become? 4. I do all the steps so that you understand you should not make a mistake, okay? These things come up and we do make mistakes, so, okay? 1, 6 plus 5 is 11, 1 here, 1 carry. Then 2, 3, 4, okay? So, 45 units. Now, we have to see whether their square is the same or no, okay? Sum of the squares. So, we will find PQ square and QR square. So, we will continue, okay? Now, PQ square plus QR square. So, directly I am going to apply the formula over here. I will just see my P and Q, okay? So, P is given as... So, x2 pq, x2 minus x1, 2 minus of minus 2, that is 4, the whole square plus, 2 minus 2 is 0, the whole square plus, now qr, x2 minus x1, 0, the whole square plus, 7 minus 2, 5, the whole square, <coughs> directly applied the formula, okay kids? I hope, please write, for y'all, you all should write everything, okay. So, that is 4, the whole square is 16, plus 0 square is 0, plus 0 square is 0, plus 25, again 16 plus 25, 41 units. Therefore, we will write PR square is equals to PQ square plus QR square. Therefore, P comma Q comma R R vertices of a right angled triangle so such similar sums are there in the problem set also i would like you to take a look at it okay take a look at it and see the sums apart from that we have the eighth sum over here let me just read it out so that the points A, B, C are the vertices of an equilateral triangle. So in order for it to be the vertice of an equilateral triangle, we need to show that AB is equals to BC is equals to AC. Okay, so that we have to do. Okay, let me just try it. Hmm. A is given as this is the eighth sum the last sum for this uh, practice set 5.1 any similar sums in the problem set please solve it on your own A is given as 1 comma 2 B is given as 1 comma 6 and C is given as 1 plus 2 root 3 comma 4 please don't get scared as I always tell you all Always pay attention on what you are doing, okay? So, for A, B and C to be the vertices of an equilateral triangle, AB is equals to BC is equals to AC. AB has to be equal to BC is equals to AC. They have to be equal. Okay. So first we will all that that is or square it now only and keep so that the square root problem is not there. AB square is equals to BC square is equals to AC square. Just find AB, BC and AC separately and you all will be done. So first we'll find. Hmm. A B square. 
so that is by distance formula let's see a is 1 comma 2 b is 1 comma 6 so x2 minus x1 1 minus 1 the whole square plus y2 minus y1 i'm doing it this because i don't have much time over here okay all can substitute it properly and do like as i do for a b a is x1 y1 b is x2 y2 you all can do the entire step i don't have time over here okay so 0 plus 4 the whole square therefore a b square is equals to 4 is 4 square that is 16 units okay let's see for bc square I have place over here, I'll do here only. Okay, bc square is equals to b is 1 comma 6 and c is 1 plus 2 root 3 plus 4. Okay, so b, b is 1 minus of 2, 1 plus 2 root 3, x2 minus x1. Sorry, x2 minus x1, I will write it as x2 minus x1 the whole square plus y2 y2 minus y1 y2 minus y1 that is 4 minus 6 the whole square now i'll do here 1 minus 1 will get cancelled that is 2 root 3 the whole square plus 4 minus 6 is minus 2 the whole square Therefore, that is equal to 2 to the 4 root 3 into root 3 is 3. That and here, okay, and here is 4 again. So, 4 3 is a 12, 12 plus 4 is 16. So, 12 plus 4 is 16. Therefore, BC square is 16. Okay, now the last one. Let's see. I'll try to do it in a elaborate manner for y'all. So, AC square, so for AC square, how I should be doing it, A is given as, A is 1 comma 2 and uh, C is 1 plus 2 root 3 comma 4, okay, doing it in an elaborate manner where I am showing you all, all the all the steps, okay, here X1, Y1, 1, 2, x2 1 plus 2 root 3 y2 is 4 okay therefore ac is equals to under root x2 minus x1 the whole square plus y2 minus y1 the whole square but we are squaring okay so ac square is equal to directly square so that under root is left we just need to find the value so this is always squared okay this method so x2 minus x1 that is 1 plus 2 root 3 minus 1 the whole square now this under root has been squared okay so it will disappear plus y2 minus y1 that is 4 minus 2 the whole square under root is gone the whole thing has been squared so we have ac square we directly have this plus 1 minus 1 gets cancelled so we have only 2 root 3 the whole square plus 4 minus 2 is 2 the whole square therefore ac square is nothing but 2 2 is a 4 into root 3 into root 3 is 3 okay plus so this is multiplication but you have to square it plus so again 4 3 is a 12 ac square is equals to 12 plus 4 therefore ac square is nothing but 16 units so summarize therefore a b square is equals to b c square is equals to a c square that is nothing but a b is equals to b c is equals to a c therefore a you have to write like this huh i have not written in the previous one comma two b one comma six and c one plus two root three comma four are vertices of an equilateral triangle 
so seeing this i am done with everything related to distance formula i hope you've all enjoyed this part of the chapter series just as you would enjoy your favorite book with a hot cup of tea so e caught that is everyone's cup of tea will bring to you many more such chapter series along with detailed explanation and solution of the exercises that are there in your textbook we wish to bring to you this and more at zero cost so that the hardest chapters become your cup of tea so help us by clicking on this button get notified about our upcoming chapter series also share it to help us define education through equality do message us any doubts that you have on our instagram handle everyone's cup of tea and we promise to answer them thank you and keep sipping bye